So you want to get started in photography, but you don't know where to start? Stay tuned and I'll show you exactly what I use to capture some of these amazing images. So when it comes to photography, one of the most important tools to have is obviously a camera, okay? Now there's a wide variety of cameras out there, starting from, you know, your basic point and shoot cameras to your upper level DSLRs, uh, your mid-range DSLRs. Um, there's so many options out there and, and what's, what's good for, you know, video, what's good for photography, you know, there's a lot of choices out there, okay? Well, I'm going to show you what I use, okay? Uh, the camera of choice for me is is Nikon. I love Nikon. They're a good, solid brand. They don't feel like a like a light piece of plastic in my hand. Um, so the camera I chose to go with was the Nikon D7200. Okay, I decided to go with the kit version, which comes with a lens. Uh, the Nikon D7200 kit comes with a 18 to 140. Uh, it has a 3.5 to 5.6 f-stop uh, range on that lens so this is a zoom lens uh, so that means when it's all the way zoomed out it goes through a 3.5 is the lowest aperture it'll go to now fully zoomed in to the 140 the lowest aperture you can get is a 5.6 so it's really not a big difference between uh, I can still get some really good blur uh, in the background it's not as sharp as it would be with a lower f-stop uh, but what this is mostly used for is your, you know, your nature scenes, uh, some light uh, action scenes, uh, more of nature photography, landscape uh, is what I use this lens for. Or, you know, in this case, I, I use it for videography because I can get the zoom if I need it or, you know, whatever I decide to use with it at that point. So let's talk about some lenses. When it comes to photography, you're gonna find that there are a wide variety of lenses, okay? And it can be kind of overwhelming. What lens should I get? Why is this one better than this one? Uh, a lot of it has to do with build quality, okay? The better the glass, the sharper the images, uh, the lower the f-stops you can get, uh, the better quality, the better images, basically, okay? But don't let that deter you. You don't have to spend $1,000 on a lens to get really good quality images. A lot of that comes from technique. So, to start with, it's never a bad idea to have a good quality zoom lens, okay? I have the Nikon, the DX lens, because uh, this fits the crop sensor, uh, which is what this camera is. Uh, the DX lens, it is a vibration reduction, so that means when I'm hand holding and I'm all the way zoomed out there, what this does is it adds extra stability to the lens and the camera while I'm taking a picture handheld. So if I'm out there fully zoomed in and I got a little bit of shake, the, the, the lens helps to account for that. Uh, the zoom lens I chose to go with, I tried to find the one that covers the biggest uh, zoom length. So I went with the 55 to 300 is the one that I went with. Uh, this one does, uh, for the f-stops, it does a 4.5 and it does a 5.6 when it's fully zoomed in to the 300 mark, which is really good, okay? To sacrifice, you know, a, an f-stop, that's, that's really good, okay? So do your homework before you buy your lenses, okay? Do some research, watch some videos. Uh, I never just go out and willy-nilly buy, buy a, a, a lens because you don't know what you're getting. You wanna get the best bang for your buck. Like I said, you don't have to spend $1,000 to get good quality images, okay? I think I spent about $300 on this, and it's a great lens. I take it everywhere I go. Next, let's talk about some prime lenses, okay? A prime lens is a single focal length lens. It's not a zoom lens, so it doesn't go from 14 to 180 like the zoom lenses do. This one is a 35 millimeter, and that's 
all it'll do. It will not zoom in, it will not zoom out, it'll stay at 35, okay? I got the Nikon DX, of course, for the crop sensor. Uh, so a little side note, if you put an FX lens on a crop sensor camera, it's not gonna be a big difference. You're just, you're not gonna get the full potential of the lens. So if you pay $1,300 for a full frame lens and you slap it on a crop sensor camera, it's, it's a little bit of a waste of the money, okay? So get the lenses that go with the camera, and then once you achieve the level that you feel like you wanna spend the money on getting a better camera, then invest in some better glass. Uh, but this lens is actually a remarkable lens. I get a lot of sharp images out of this, this lens here. I highly recommend it uh, for anybody who loves to do like portrait for, uh, excuse me, portraiture photography. Um, it does a 1.8 on the uh, on the aperture. So what that means is is it's at 1.8, it's wide open, okay, letting all that light in. You'll get really good bokeh effect. Um, highly recommend it, okay. So another thing you should probably have in your camera gear. Uh, I highly recommend wide angle lenses, okay. I do a lot of nature photography, I do a lot of landscape photography, so I wanna capture as much of the scene as I can. And the way I do that is with a wide angle lens. So with a wide angle lens, it's not to be confused with a fisheye lens. A fisheye lens, you're gonna get, it, it looks like this, like it's got a big bulbous type lens to it, uh, so make sure you read before you buy. Fisheye lenses, they distort and round out the image a little more. Uh, they, they can be really cool effects. Um, I don't personally like them. I don't use them. Uh, I don't even have them in my camera bag. Uh, but what I do use a lot are the wide angles. So instead of having a narrow focus point, what this lens does is the shape of the glass and everything, it takes it from a narrow field of view to a wide field of view. Okay, so I can capture more of the area. This is a prime lens, so it's not a zoom lens, okay? So I can't go in and out, I can't, if, if I'm standing 14 feet away from something, it's gonna be 14 feet away. Um, I did go with the 14 millimeter, which is a, which is a really good wide angle lens. Uh, this this does a 2.8 on, uh, on the aperture. So it's it's good for low light situations, uh, which, is, which is really crucial for me. I like to do a lot of star photography uh, as well as, as landscape photography. Now, with the Rokinon, the 14 millimeter 2.8, uh, this is not a autofocus lens, okay? This is a manual lens. So you're not gonna be able to click the shutter button and have it rotate and focus on whatever it is you're trying to focus on. This, you have to do it yourself. Surprise, wardrobe change. Uh, I had some technical difficulties yesterday. Uh, so I'm picking it up where I left off uh, today. So where I left off uh, was talking about the Rokinon uh, lens. It is a manual lens. So this is a manual focus lens, okay? So if you're doing any kind of fast photography where you're trying to capture a fast moving subject like nature photography or sports photography, uh, I wouldn't recommend at least this lens. I would recommend you find uh, a wide angle lens if that's what you want to shoot with uh, that is autofocus. Um, they have them out there. They're kind of expensive. Um, but for sports photography, if you're doing anything like that, you want to get up close to your subject. So zoom lenses is probably going to be the way to go. So I've shown you some of the stuff that I use uh, for my photography. Now. Bear in mind, this is just the bare minimum to kind of get you started. Get yourself a zoom lens, a wide angle lens, and a prime lens, okay? With those three lenses, you can hit pretty much every avenue of photography you can think of, okay? You can do your landscapes, your portraits, you know, architecture, if that's what you're into. Uh, this, these, these lenses I use, I mean, these three lenses, they serve me pretty well. So I hope this video helped, guys. I wanted to show you some really good entry level camera gear to get you started if you haven't got yourself established yet with photography. The camera is a great build, the lenses I showed you are a great start for your kit. Everything is going to start somewhere. Get yourself a good camera, 
get yourself a couple of good lenses and the and the great pictures from those will come in time don't give up because i got discouraged when i first got it i didn't think i was any good uh, but then i started learning more about you know composition uh, different techniques so with that being said make sure you hit the subscribe button and that bell notification because i am going to be doing future videos a little bit more detail on the camera a little bit more detail on the settings of the camera what these lenses are good for show you some different photos what's worked for me what hasn't um, i'll also be doing photo editing showing you guys how to maybe touch up your pictures a little bit more so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out and until next time guys take care